We are back right here on the weekend show. And right now it's time to meet our guests that we have for you this evening on the program. We have with us Mr. Abdullah Al-Fadl, who is part of the Kuwait dive team. Uh, so, Father, we'd like to welcome you to our program. Thank you very much, and uh, it's very nice to be back in Kuwait Television too. It's our pleasure for having you this evening on our program. And we have a lot of great things to get to, a lot of achievements and things being done by the Kuwait dive team. And first off, we'd like to start out with the, uh, tell our viewers a little bit about the grand celebrations that are going to be coming up for the new Kuwait Jabir Reefs, which will be in Ibn Adir on October 2nd of this year, coming up very shortly. Yes, uh, we're very happy about that. Uh, let me just give uh, an idea about the artificial reef projects of okay. the Kuwait Dive Team. It started about uh, 1995 okay. when we placed uh, many artificial reefs around uh, South, South uh, Kuwait. Uh, and uh, we have so far made 19 uh, locations in uh, Kuwait seas. Mm -hmm. uh, of course, some, uh, they, uh, they are not open to the public because we are monitoring and we are you know, rebuilding the reefs. Doing studies and so forth. Yeah, and uh, so uh, many people complain that the divers of Kuwait uh, wanted to see the artificial reefs. So we uh, suggested that we build a big one and we will uh, open it to the public. Mm -hmm. So it will be open for the public, inshallah, on October 2nd. There will be a big celebration in the sea and on land. It's, uh, the location is uh, in the Bnader area, mm -hmm. which is uh, not far from Ras al Zor. Mm -hmm. Everybody knows that. It's about uh, 5 or uh, 10 kilometers uh, north of Hiran area. Yes, right. Yeah. And it's uh, worth noting that uh, most of the artificial reefs, the 19, are located in the, uh, let's say, south of Kuwait. South of Kuwait, Can you yeah. explain to our viewers why that is? I mean, a lot of them may be thinking, why only in the southern part? Well, uh, coral reefs are like uh, plants. They need light to, to grow. So uh, south of Kuwait, is the water are much uh, clearer. Mm -hmm. You know, no, there not, are they're no debris in the water. Not like the muddy water of north of Kuwait. Okay. So that's why. Well, we're going to be talking a little bit about this great ceremony on October 2nd. Uh, there'll actually be a cutting of the ribbon, I believe, underwater. Yeah. There'll be a very special guest there doing that. Yes. Uh, very distinguished uh, gentleman. Uh, that'll be a bit later on. But right now, we're going to take a short break uh, by taking a look at a report about the Kuwait dive team, some of their achievements, when they got started, brief history about them. So stay tuned for that. The dive team is not just a sports team, but under the backing and funding of His Highness the Emir, Sheikh Jabir al-Ahmed al-Jabir al-Sabah, the team served the state of Kuwait in many outstanding achievements. On January 22, 2000, the Kuwait dive team was presented with the International Environmental Enrichment Award in Las Vegas. And on December 15, 1999, the dive team successfully shifted the 100-ton Dow, Fetch al Khair, on its final voyage from Doha Harbor to a final resting place in the Dow Harbor. After the Iraqi invasion in 1991, hundreds of wrecked and sunk yachts were left behind. One organization that volunteered to help clean the Kuwaiti waters was a group of amateur divers. They were members of the Marine Environment Amateurs Association of the Kuwait Science Club. Their offer was accepted, and on December 25, 1991, they formed the Kuwait Dive Team. Well, the Kuwait dive team there, a lot of great achievements, uh, doing some great work uh, right here in Kuwait. And uh, now we would go back to Mr. Abdullah Al-Fadl, uh, who is part of the Kuwait dive team. And we were talking a little bit about the Kuwait uh, Jabir Reefs. Uh, it'll be on October 2nd. And when we went to that uh, short uh, break there about the Kuwait dive team and so forth, we were talking about how the opening of the cutting of the ribbon, they'll be part of it underwater yes. and above. So tell us, uh, tell us what's going to take place October 2nd. Well, uh, as I mentioned before, uh, this will be uh, a very big uh, artificial reef uh, mm -hmm. project. It, it will be the only one or the first one open to the public. Okay. That's why we will give the location to everybody. Mm -hmm. We will have a big celebration. And uh, the person, or uh, okay. the important person, let me say, that is cutting the very ribbon. Very sporty person. Yes, uh, Sheikh uh, Ahmed Al-Fahad, yes. Sabah, 
uh, he's the minister of uh, energy energy that's right yes and uh, he's a diver also that's right and he has been with the team for a long time and supporting mm -hmm. the team so uh, we suggested that we'll do it uh, uh, not the usual way mm -hmm. so uh, he's he's a diver mm -hmm. so he will dive with us okay and uh, he will place <coughs> the uh, the last piece of the artificial reef okay. it's it's a huge uh, it's a huge architecture underwater. Mm -hmm. uh, it's about 300 tons okay. of, uh, of uh, architecture and concrete mm -hmm. blocks. So we will cut the ribbon under the water, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, of course uh, the ribbon is uh, is tied to many balloons mm -hmm. above the water. So mm -hmm. we will know the people who are above the water on on land. Mm -hmm. They will see that uh, the the celebration has started. Okay. And then there will be a big celebration on land. Mm -hmm. There's uh, there's uh, uh, exhibitions and uh, you know uh, uh, many activities. In, uh, okay, it all sounds really exciting. Uh, October second, uh, Sheikh Ahmed Fad Sabah will be uh, of course diving uh, down to uh, cut the ribbon, the opening ceremony there for the artificial reef. Uh, all sounds very interesting. We'll have to see the underwater photography that's been done of that hopefully inshallah yes, yes. for future episodes and uh, now uh, all, there's been it's been almost eight years in the works these various 19 artificial reefs right yes yes okay yes. and uh, I believe there's five forms of concrete I believe that make the artificial reef yes Could you tell our viewers a little bit about that well we, we are since we are uh, under, uh, experimenting mm -hmm. the uh, what's best for the uh, for the uh, reefs to grow okay. Uh, I, I have to mention first that uh, when we say artificial reefs, we don't mean artificial like plastic or steel or whatever. Okay. It's 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 like uh, planting. Uh, you have to, to get plants, you know. You just place it there and it grows. It will be natural. So mm -hmm. it's really reefs, you know, coral reefs, not artificial. Okay. So uh, uh, and it takes it takes light to grow, and uh, it's it's very natural reef. In about six months. It, uh, it becomes natural reefs. That's uh, that's the idea. And maybe just to let our viewers know, because in the southern part of Kuwait, the sun is always shining there more, so that's a better place for the reefs, I believe. That's yes, correct? Yes, yes. So that's a good place for them. Uh -huh. And uh, uh, let's say, how long does it take to make one of these, uh, let's say, once again, we have to say artificial reefs? How long does it take to get that going? Well, it takes From time. From start till yes. actually putting it in the water. Yes, usually. Uh, 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 th we used different forms mm -hmm. to try everything. Uh, some of them we, we made at the team center mm -hmm. in, uh, in the Kuwait Harbor. That's where we stay. And uh, some of them built by other companies, donated by other companies like Al Khurafi and uh, construction companies. Uh, and uh, we we want to reach the, the, the best structure that is the best for the uh, for the marine life. Okay. That's, that's and now in terms of the uh, reefs here and so forth, the coral reefs, uh, a lot of our viewers may already know what coral reefs are and their benefits and so forth, but there may be some also, Mr. Abdel, who don't really know much about. Could you tell us a little bit about the benefits of the coral reef? Well, coral reefs are like the lungs of the sea. Mm -hmm. They give oxygen, they give uh, protection uh, to, the, uh, to the fish, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, they are uh, an, a complete environment for the, uh, for the fish to nest and to have eggs, you know. 